before I run out of time, I also uh, want to touch on the strain. Uh, sure. I watched season one. Yeah. I'm uh, very caught up. Um, cool. Where are you in terms of the production process for season two? We have finished shooting season two, and uh, I'm just in the middle of that episode. I'm just in the middle of editing the episodes right now, so I'm I'm very excited about it. I think season two is a real evolution. Um, you know, season one in a lot of ways was about you know people kind of reacting to this epidemiological crisis and coming to realize that there were these vampiric creatures and that they existed and having to accept the reality of them. Well, now everybody does accept the reality of them, and then the question is, what can we do about it? Can we fight back? Do we have a chance? You know, what sort of strategy we do we, what sort of strategies do we employ to basically take these things out? And, you know, this, the show in a lot of ways is about the sort of slow, insidious demise of New York um, City as a result of this um, vampire and apocalypse. And it's different, I think, in some ways than other shows in the genre. You know, if you basically, you look at a show like The Walking Dead, well, they pick up after the zombies are already all out there, or even World War Z, three scenes into the movie, you know, Brad Pitt is running from zombies. So I, I like the fact that we're exploring the sort of decline of civilization as part of our storytelling. Guillermo originally said that it would be like three to five seasons. Yeah. Is that still what you guys are thinking, or has that possibly changed because maybe you're going to divert from the books? There's a lot of diversion from the books and a lot of addition to the books. I mean, we're following the same general narrative, but I would say, you know, season two is maybe 80% invented. Um, you know, it has some of the same landmarks, but you can watch the show having read the books and you'll get a totally, you know, new experience. Um, I think right now we're looking at the show being five seasons and um, the third season will sort of finish the story of the second book and then the last two seasons will be the third book. Uh, are we finally going to get rid of Corey Stahl's wig? I would say without spoiling things that you will probably be happy. <laughs> um, uh... I mean, it was always our intention to... Just teasing. It's a, no, I mean, it's funny. It's like the, there's always those things that sort of magnify and become like out of proportion and everything else. And the wig was one of them, you know. Um, <laughs> it just, it took on a life of its own, sort of unfairly. I mean, no one knew Corey Stoll when he yeah. did, you know, Midnight in Paris. Nobody complained about his wig in the Woody <laughs> Allen movie. But then they knew him as a guy without hair in House of Cards, so we fell victim to that. But we'd always had an intention to kind of move the character in a new direction, and sort of changing his hair was part of that, and so that will take place in season two. I'm, I'm basically out of time, but I'm going to throw okay. in a question. Uh, the first season, you wrote all the script, the Guillermo, you guys all wrote the scripts all in advance. Yes. In season two, did you do the same thing, or was it writing on the fly? Um, it was about half and half. We had about half of the material written before we started. We didn't have quite as much lead time, but um, it definitely gave us a leg up, but we were writing all the way through to the end. I mean, we were, Guillermo and I were collaborating on um, sort of the last scene of the last episode. Um, literally on the evening before the last day of shooting. So, I mean, we were working on the material literally right up until the very end of shooting. What can you tease about any new creatures? Um, there is, well, if you've read the books there, you'll, you'll know, but there is, um, I would, you know, Kelly, um, Corey Stoll's wife, who's been turned into a vampire, let's just say she has some helpers this year and they're, they're, they're pretty scary. Uh, every season of a show, the longer you go, from what I understand, you basically get one new set. That's what I've discovered watching television. You get a little bit, maybe a little more money, you can build one new set. What's the one new set for The Strain season two? Or if you have a new one? We are, um, we spent a lot of time in, in Fett's loft in um, Red Hook, and uh, it's a really cool set. So is my theory correct, though, that every season of a show you get one new set? No. Okay. <laughs>